Well, good morning. It's uh, the 9th of February, Sunday morning. Uh, just out here in the garage real quick before I head out on the line. It's still a little dark out, so um, I was just going to show you this pile real quick. Yeah, I don't mind the mess. I've been uh, kind of shoving everything off to the side. And Anyway, that is... That is the pile of lumber I'm going to start with. That's uh, old Baba Black Jeep did a good job hauling that last night. It was, <laughs> well, you saw a part. I mean, you probably didn't get a full scope of what it was, but yeah. So, all right, I'll be back with you, and I'm going to go check my line real quick, and uh, we'll see what happens. I had deer in the forest last night right outside my window, so we'll see what happens, guys. Okay, I'm out here. I just uh, I just moved a couple of dog proofs a little closer to the house. There's there's been a lot of tracks up close to the house lately. So, uh, but I wanted to show you this. I just crossed over the ditch and um, <laughs> let me show you something here. Okay, now in mixed in with all these deer tracks as I was walking along, and there's a lot of deer tracks today. Um, they were really moving last night. Hey, there's my house. Once you cross over that little bridge right there, that's my backyard. There are dog tracks right here, and I, I know it's tough to see, but well, I guess it shows up pretty good in the camera. That's definitely a dog. That's not a deer. Um, and and some of the other ones that I walked on were even a little bit better. But he's heading right there. Um, I wish I'd have been paying attention on the bridge. He may have crossed the bridge even. Um, I just thought they were deer tracks, so I was walking in them. Anyway, old Alex, my little buddy, El Gato Stupido. El Gato Loco, he, uh, he better be careful. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if maybe there's a, uh, I have that coyote still out here. Um, the one I caught the other day. And, uh, he definitely puts off a lot of scent in the garage. So I wonder if, uh, who knows? Hey, I got the camera wrong. Oh man, how's that? Hey, hey, opa. Um, we're going to follow those tracks up to the fields and, uh, see what happens. What a gorgeous morning. Um, moon is out. Uh, it must be full, or at least close to it. Uh, there's a bit of a haze over the fields. Kind of an ice fogish sort of thing. Uh, nothing in the snares. No tracks even. I, I'm, I'm about ready to move them all. The problem is, okay, there has been no snow. Or if we get snow, it's gone in a couple of days. So when the deer start using the trail, if anything blocks that trail, they just start picking another one. There's no packed down trails. Uh, just now here in the last few days, I noticed that the deer are sticking to the same trails. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to adjust. Now I just was online. We're supposed to be getting 40 degrees next week. So Goodbye snow, hello flood. I think my water trapping is going to be hit, but we'll see. Okay, well, I'm going to keep moving. There's nothing in uh, this corner, so just keep moving on. There's still got the, my favorite part of the farm is yet to come. Here we go. Those wily buggers. Look at that. He walked. He was sniffing. He came right around, and he stopped. There's the set right there. He didn't, I don't know, he didn't like something. So today, finally came in the mail. We are putting out some gland lure. And uh, I think that's going to make the difference. We'll see. I pulled that other set, the one that was uh, up this road a little bit further. I'm going to, I'm going to put it down closer to the creek, down right on the edge where if there's tracks there, I'm, I'm thinking there will be. Uh, if not, I'm going to put it on that point further down to the south of the one where I caught that one I know this all means nothing but there it is sure would be a nice uh, homestead site for uh, somebody I don't know who <laughs> maybe a hundred years ago right actually the foundation to the original homestead is basically due south of us you can see those real tall trees further back um it's maybe 50 yards past that that's the original homestead so okay i'll be back there's that moon right up the hedgerow here 
There's nothing moving up that hedge rod. I'm kind of disappointed in that, but that's okay. Um, I just refreshed that set. And down into the lowlands, you can see the cornfield way on the other side. The sun's starting to come up over there. Uh, by the time I get over there, it'll probably be up. Easy for me to say. All right, I'm going to head across this field and see what I got over there. Thanks. Boy, look at the tracks around that trap. That's kind of funny. Uh, I don't see anything that isn't a deer track yet, but they sure were milling around over the last couple of days in the snow. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Let's see here. As I get up closer, maybe there'll be a dog track. Probably not. I'm assuming it's all deer. But you never know. I gotta spread the snow out a bit. Oh yeah, it's all deer. I don't see anything that's not. Yeah, I think I'll work on this one a little bit, rebate it. Check it all out. Yeah, I don't see anything that's not deer, so. Okay, I'm gonna do this and I'll get back with you. Okay, well, starting to warm up a little bit. Sun is out, as you can see. Uh, I won't blind you with it. But I'm up here back in the corner. I just put that set down below. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, deer tracks all through here again. And uh, I haven't seen any dog tracks up in the corner here. But hey, that's okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to get to the build. So that's going to be a separate video. But I'm surprised how many people are interested in the build. I'm kind of happy about that. So thanks for being here. I'm going to show you this other set real quick before I go. Okay, I know I got that thorn tree right in the way, but it is straight ahead. You can just barely see it right there in the middle. Um, it's kind of a trench set almost. Um, I went with uh, just a little bit different set than I usually do, but it's, I don't remember the guy that they claim is the trench set guy, Gagnon, Gagnon or something like that. Um, anyway, it doesn't even matter. Those trench sets have been around for thousands of years. People snaring things out of them. So, anyway, it's a trench set. Um, I didn't think about taking a video over there. I forgot about it because I was thinking about putting a dog proof over here. And uh, anyway, which I am actually decided I'm not going to do because, huh, I had to use the trap tag off of the dog proof on that trap back over there because somehow the trap tag disappeared on it so eh, so such is life so i'll put a trap tag on this dog proof and get it out probably tomorrow all right here we go i'm gonna be uh just walking back now and there, i there's still three or four more traps to check but they never produce anything so I'm not, i never think much about it well i guess those dog proofs do but anyway that's enough rambling for me hey eh? You betcha. So I'll uh, I'll see you on the on the shack build. Thanks for being here.